no modified bitumen project can be completed without a high quality hand welder for field seams and detail areas. Corners, vertical wall seams and accessories are all areas where hand welding plays a major role. This makes the Aeron hand welder standard equipment for every modified bitumen roofing installation large and small. This lightweight hand tool weighs just 3.3 pounds and is available for 120 volt or 230 volt power. The Aeron hand welder uses 2700 watts of power for the 120 volt version and 3400 watts of power for the 230 volt version. Each can reach temperatures between 68 to 1200 degrees. The 230 volt Aeron welder is recommended as it is more energy efficient and uses less amps than the 120 volt Aeron. It is recommended that 12 gauge two wire line cord no longer than 100 feet be used for the 120 volt Aeron. For the 230 volt Aeron, three wire 10 gauge line cord no longer than 100 feet is recommended. Using the proper line cord is important to prevent damage to the heating element. While working on the roof, items such as hard hats, gloves, safety glasses, and closed-toed shoes are often required. Check all local safety regulations to ensure proper attire is worn on the roof. To set up the air on, simply push the power toggle switch to the on position to allow cool air to start circulating through the nozzle. The red dial is the temperature adjustment. Once the temperature dial is turned up, the Aeron hand welder reaches temperature in only three to five minutes. While a heat setting of six to eight is a common welding window for modified bitumen, it's always important to test the seam to ensure a proper weld temperature is being maintained. Hand welding is a two-hand process. To start the process, insert the entire nozzle inside the overlap seam to preheat the membrane then follow directly behind with a silicone pressure roller to fuse the heated membrane layers together. A black bleed out of approximately 1 8 inch along the seam edge indicates a good weld. You always want to make sure your material is clean and dry for an optimum weld. Always cool down the welder before turning it off. It will save the heating element and promote a safe work environment as a properly cooled down welder will not cause any dangerous burns to the crew. To properly cool down your Aeron hand welder, turn the red dial to zero for approximately three to five minutes until cool air is blowing out of the nozzle. It is then safe to power down the Aeron by pushing the power toggle switch to the off position. It is important to follow each of these critical steps when operating the welder in order to maximize efficiency of your welds and to maintain safe operation procedures on the roof.